Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you the easy way to fix a MagSafe power adapter. This is for um, MacBook Pro. Alright, so basically we want to take this apart um, to get the inside, and these, uh, these little flip open tabs are pretty much not worth a whole lot. So you can just take those off. Uh, you don't really need those. And they say that you can simply put a screwdriver in here and pry it, but in my experience, that doesn't work very well. So it's a little bit better if you use a screwdriver in the seam here. Pop those off. Okay. And then it'll void your warranty if you stick the screwdriver straight in here. Um, so don't do that. I recommend that you start back here where the cord is. So that there we go. So that you don't damage the plastic. Okay. Okay. And then it can be kind of hard to pull apart. Not sure which one is the top. Pry that baby open. It's a little bit hard, but you can do it. Okay. So now we got to the inside here. And this is where people have the most problems with these, um, these wires get damaged. Um, and uh, they got a lot of protective stuff on here that we really want to open up. Open that up. There we go. And just peel it back. It just peels back real nicely. You can tape all this back together later. I think we need to cut that part there a little bit. That off. Okay. Now we get access to the inside here. Um, there's another one. Peel that back. Okay. Save that for later. All right. We can see we got a lot of components in here. And I think this guy here is one of the uh, capacitors that's gone bad on this. So, oh yeah, yeah, see all that coming out of that? So we'll just take that one out and throw that out. Okay, let me pull that wire off there too. Okay, all right. Now, we can uh, close this back up. Oh. Close that back up. This will be good as new. Get rid of that bad capacitor. Alright. A little bit of tape on that. Okay. There we go. Now, the problem that most people have with this is that they have frayed wire connections right in here. So I want to demonstrate the frayed wire, okay, and how to fix it. So this is the frayed wire, and to fix it, we're going to cut these off here, okay. Part of the problem is they make these cords so long and that they bend so easily. So I recommend that you cut it down to length to about two feet is good. Um, I'm going to cut this open and it's one of these wires where there's an outer and an inner wire so we just need to form that. Oh. Okay, I cut too hard. Don't cut quite so hard. There you can see, see how there's wire. There's outer wire on top of the inner wire. So we need to put those into two separate wires. It's nice and dirty. Okay, and just cut off the excess there. Okay. There we go. Now we got it. Okay. I'm just gonna cut off this excess here. Okay, now we gotta solder these connections back on here. You'll notice one is a white and one is a black, and so just match up the, the white wire. We want to be able to reuse this seal, cut this open, and oh, ow, dang it. 
Okay, so back to cutting this. Um, I basically want to get the wire. This darn thing. Some more tape on that. Get this wire out. You know what? This thing's probably not worth keeping. That's for safety, since we're going to be soldering, just in case of any fire, I've got water so that I can put out a fire if we do have a fire. Um, it's always a good safety precaution. Mm. Tape these up so the wires don't touch. Cover up that little exposed wire there. Got to be safe. Okay, so we want to put all this together yeah. properly so that you can't see any tape or that we've messed with it so we don't void our warranty. Yeah. So the best way to do this is with something that's going to be clear in the end. And the thing that I found is the best is Elmer's glue. Water's coming out of it too. Just get a little bit more glue on there. the first time. It's best to apply this to both surfaces. Um, it'll stay together better that way. Okay. Okay. Let me just put this back together. And wipe away the excess. Until the glue dries, we're just going to put some tape. We can take this back off once the glue dries so that it looks like new. And clean that blood off. Make sure it looks like new. So I can show you the finished product faster. One way that Elmer's glue is, it hardens much faster if you put it in the oven. For just like five minutes is all it takes. It's very important that you take off the power cord. Don't want to cook that. But we will cook this. Okay. So basically we want to put this in the oven at 450 for five minutes. Speed up the cool off process too. Just put it in the freezer for a minute. Okay, after a minute. Oh, there we go. Feels good. Finish polishing that up. Okay, and so let's just put this back together. Alright, and let's plug it in and give it a try. Alright, so now just gonna plug this in and see that it works. Green light, yes!